Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Victoria 3 as Ethiopia. In previous episode, we started building quite a bit more, pulling uh, 280 construction points per week now, which to be fair, we could probably increase it even further. We are having pretty good income overall. We're slowly paying off the credits that we still have, about 9 million, so that might actually take a bit of time to pay off. I have uh, taken some time to... Um, switch some more of the buildings to the publicly owned or publicly traded so there'll be even more investment pool transfers at least hopefully one thing that I did uh, notice uh, uh, already before we conquered this but then I forgot with all the other stuff going on there's a gold mine over here let's put that underway and then uh, over here we've managed to unlock the oil rigs we'll put at least one of those and also put that to auto expand so that's going to provide a little bit of stuff here. There's not enough workers in this region, to be fair, but that's, uh, well, that's just how it's going to be, I suppose. Now, we do have a little bit of um, extra infamy or room for conquering more things, but it's not really going to be all that much is the problem. Like, um, we'd be able to take maybe one area over here. Actually, North Borneo, you're part of the Italian market. Okay, that's uh, not necessarily a good idea. Uh, Sintag, we can't reach. Lanfang is... Um, I believe they're Dominion of uh, China, or tributary of China, so we probably won't be able to declare war on them directly. And um, China we can't declare war on because we still have... Actually, no, we don't have a truce yet. They are still paying war operations, though. Which I'll... Oh, wait, no, we do have a truce. Until May of next year, okay. That means that our income is going to drop by 60,000 at that point, so... Uh, we might not want to build... Oh, what's this then? Oh, uh, Revolutionary Croatia versus Croatian Uprising. Oh. <laughs> right, well. There's that then, I suppose. But yeah, now we're getting 140,000 uh, per week, which is not bad. Oh, dangerous equipment. What's this? Textile mills in North Madagascar have seen an increase in workloads injuries due to increased mechanization and poor safety regulations. Well, we could increase the mortality, although how bad is the relations with trade unions? Um, It's not too bad. We could afford uh, losing two points there. Uh, what about the industrialists? We could afford losing there a little bit as well. North Madagascar doesn't have that much manufacturing industry, though, so we'll just take the penalty over there for a little bit. Landowners are not going to enjoy that, but that's really... Oh, oh, isn't the company is having a bit of... um? Oh, yeah, that is quite a massive peasant revolution. All right, well, that means that they probably won't be assisting anyone, which is actually good for us. Oh, is this Central Java? Oh... Communist Dutch is in yeah, okay. <laughs> Dutch is Indies are having a bit of a revolution then. Which does beg the question, should I start expanding around here? If we attack Balungan, for example. Uh you got troops with uh, Italy. We go for this one. There is potential for some other nations to join. It will only be four point six in for me. So how much did we have room? I already forgot the number. Um not quite that much, so we'd have to... Oh, hey, we are actually losing a lot more infamy now, thanks to the ruler switch and having enough influence. So, yeah, that is actually going down a lot faster now, which is definitely good news for us. So, a few... Oh, psychoanalysis unlocked. Progressive population cost multiplier, uh, minus 5% and 10% more influence. All right, well, that's pretty good stuff. And there we go. We got 500 bureaucracy, so that means... Uh, we can start to uh, survey a skyscraper site. There's 500 uh, bureaucracy for one year. It's actually a little bit extra. I suppose we have some modifiers in there or something, maybe. Well, anyway, we're losing only a little bit. Although the tax... Well, it's less than 1%. Creation uprising. You're giving me a obligation. Creation... You know what? Sure. Why are we fighting? We're fighting the uprising. All right. Now, can I actually bring in some troops there? I don't think I need to bring in a lot. I just uh, think if we bring in, say, one army like this one, might be a bit of an overkill even, and take it over there, because we're on that side. Good to know. There seems to be a bit of uh, unrest or turmoil in Europe by the looks of it. I don't necessarily want to go too far. And Oh. Lavinian secession has been crushed. And Greece is getting Austrian war reparations. Interesting. I think that's one of the few times when I'll see that the AI is actually pushing uh, war goals on both sides of the aisle. It tends to be rather rare. Right, so we're five to eight weeks away from conveyors. 
That's going to be good for automation. Not that we necessarily need too much of it, but a little bit probably won't hurt. But they do. Oh, they're moving their troops away to there. I don't think... Can I reach there? Hold on a minute. Let's uh, see if we could send in, like, a small army there. Your defensive strategy, so I'm just going to send you down to there. Oh, right away, no. We're going for this one, right. Well, we can give them a bit of a hand over there as well. But yeah, this uh, zooming too close to Europe it tends to apparently lag the game. Well, we can have a look at that. Over here, it's going pretty fast. There we go, over here. And it's only a little bit slower, and then we, once we get over here, it's a lot slower. Well... Not necessarily that much loss is lower, but it is slower in there. Right, but while we're in this, we can't declare another war. But that's fine, that's going to give us a bit more time to reduce our infamy. Which is already at least five and a half points extra right now. And if we just uh, manage to reduce the stuff even further. Now, it is entirely possible that due to our involvement in this, the enemy won't be doing all that much. They might even give up before a fight happens. There we go, conveyors unlocked. Oh, international exchange standards. That's more minting. Loan interest rates would go down. But I'm thinking of going for the malaria prevention, just so that we can colonize the remaining areas in Papua New Guinea uh, slightly faster. Because that's pretty much the only area that we can colonize in. I mean, the French have taken a lot of islands here. Then the Japanese have a lot of islands there. The Russians own a lot of stuff here. Alright, so there's been various nations colonizing a lot in the Pacific there. And apparently Russia hasn't taken stuff from China yet. And they probably won't. At least they got Persia. And of course they got Norway and Sweden part of their sphere now. Right, well let's see how this uh, war goes, if it goes anywhere. And we've gotten some of our troops already in there. But I suspect that they do consider themselves to be somewhat terrified maybe. At least worried, they're not really terrified yet. But I'm pretty sure that... Let's actually have a look. What sort of troops do they have in there? they got trench infantry with the shrapnel artillery, bicycle messengers, machine gunners, field hospitals, but they lack the resource for basically everything. So I'm not too worried about that. And then if we have a look at the contrips, it's uh, almost the same. they got the motorized recon re reconnaissance in there, but that's about it. Uh, looks like the... Oh, actually, no. No, no, no. It wasn't that. Oh, well, the war happened. Well, we're attacking over there, and we're helping defend over here, although this one's going to be cleared out fairly quickly, I reckon. So, in fact, what I suppose I could do is send this one assist over there. The Croatians can uh, take care of the northern flank there, while I take care of the southern one here. So, 10 versus 17, it's not going to be a victory, which is a good thing that we brought in the defending army as well. So we won't lose any territory. We should be able to inflict a lot of casualties, although we're taking more than they are. But that's not really the biggest issue. Right, so we've got the skyscraper survey ongoing. We've still got a little bit of extra bureaucracy, but it's just not enough, really. Oh, and there we go. That's being cleared out, so now I'm not entirely sure. Are both of us going to be attacking? Should I do a landing in there? I, I, mean, I suppose I could. That would clear out basically most of it. But no, I'm just going to do it uh, the old-fashioned way. I'm sure that uh, the Croatia that we are supporting will win soon enough. Looks like we're getting some lead mines in Sinai again. That's good. There's not a lot of population in there though, which might be a bit of a problem, but I'm sure that there's going to be some immigration to the place. Like it's, yeah, it's getting about 8,000 per year, so it should be alright. Plus it is in... Ooh, there we, there we go, 160,000 uh, pounds per week. Right, I mean that's not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, there's another diplomatic play in uh, Benin. Over there, yeah, they got a bit of a revolution. That does remind me, though, I could expand over here. Take a Wadai. Not that they have anything too important, but then to get to Sokoto and then eventually get these lands annexed from the sort of inland side of things. Russia does own a bit of land here. Slightly surprising. Right, so how's the front going? Uh, the Croatians are now attacking, and they're taking a lot more casualties than I did. You know what, we're going to uh, do a landing in there. It's going to speed up things a little bit. Uh, so, Sanji. Uh, Naval Invasion Dalmatia. We just need to sort of get in there. Conquer some of the land. 
Forced them to split their troops. Oh, there we go. I think we might actually win this one. Have they taken a lot of casualties? Uh, they've taken some casualties. Not too much, though. They got camouflage, so it's a bit higher defense in there, but overall, they're still taking more casualties than what we are. So I think now that we've got the numbers advantage and the defense and offense uh, values are similar, not quite the same, but very similar, so that means that we'll be able to slowly get rid of more and more of them. The troops there. So yeah, we'll win that combat most likely. And then once we do the landing in somewhere in the rear, then that's basically going to overrun them eventually. But yeah, while that is going on, we are still building a lot of things. Did we manage to get the um, oil over here yet? Yeah. We did get an oil rig. Yeah, it's still hiring. We put in the um, tanker cars actually to reduce the amount of workers required. And then combustion engine derrick. So we need to get the combustion engine. But that would increase the oil production drastically. So that might be a good idea. We could put even the public trader in there. Spearing of which we are getting um, 182,000 pounds from the investment pool. So that's covering all the construction costs right now. That's going to drop by 20,000 or so soon enough though. Once we run out of the investment pool. Oh, we've got naval combat in here. Oh, they do have a fleet. How good is a fleet? They got Dreadnoughts. Oh, so they might actually have better fleet than we do. Right, well, that means that we won't be doing landings then. Uh, we could do that one. Well, we'll wait for the naval battle to be over. We put in the destroyers there. That would increase the defense and offense. Now, we got monitors. They got Dreadnoughts. Oh, we don't have a radius for that. Plus, the conscription centers. We should probably switch to the appropriate things in here to be used, so that's, uh, well, not that we use conscripts all that much, but having the option would be still quite nice. So we managed to advance a little bit on the front there, so that's good. And now we've got pretty rough combat in here, which we are going to lose. Um, Southern Africa interest is disappearing. Did we lose? Why is it disappearing, actually? Oh, we're 11 out of 11. Okay, so we lost some of the max amount there. Well, all right. How is the infamy right now? It's 91. Uh, if we were to declare war on Wadai, not that we can right now, I suppose we can't even see the values in there, but like capturing a bit of that land. Although, hold on a minute, when is the truce with... It was, um... Truce with Egypt, that's gonna end in 1927. So with Austria and a lot of the others. Alright, well, that's not gonna happen then. So how's the survey? It's, um... Oh, it takes two years, but only one year for the bureaucracy thing. Alright. And we're getting more and more bureaucracy because we're building a few more uh, administration centers. And there we go, the revolution has been crushed. So if we were to declare the war over here in Wadai now, um, how much would it cost in terms of uh, infamy to take both of them? It's about 11 points. Do we have 11 infamy available? Not quite. I suppose another option would be to expand around here now. Uh, like Balloon Gun. Uh, if we declare war on you, especially take the first one in there. Uh, East India Company might join on the other side. Actually, if we take both, that's still going to be less than what I would be as max. Uh, Borneo is part of Italy. Oh, it's, yeah, kind of part of Italy, I suppose. I could say um, Dutch East Indies. If we were to declare war on you and take, say, actually, what is the um, East Borneo? So that would be six points. What about West Borneo? That would be seven points. Okay, that's the quite a bit still and then of course there's the east guinea which i'd like today but that's ten and a half points that's actually just about too much but we are expanding over here with our colonies regardless not that we haven't necessarily a lot of population in there there's no workplaces in here actually uh we could probably get the no oh, well let's get a rubber plantation there sure we'll need some of that regardless but yeah expanding over here is going to be a little bit tricky i suppose Although, uh, Surakatra, how much would it cost us to declare war on you? Only 3.9. You might get some allies, which might mean that we can perhaps then annex those allies as well. So we'll start a diplomatic play in here. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, we'll have only one unit in there right now, oh, because we only got one unit from Indonesia. Uh, we might want to get some more barracks in here. Let's just get a... Five barracks there in um, Sulawesi or Celebs. And then East Borneo, we don't have pops there or there to really increase the garrisons that we have 
in that region. Is this part of the... This might actually be part of the Indonesia, so we could technically build uh, some barracks over there as well. Luckily, they will be built rather quickly. But yeah, uh, who are we fighting? So, Jambi. Um, oh, over there. Ooh. Okay, so if we were to put a war goal to conquer Jambi, that's five infamy. I think we have enough uh, leeway in the infamy to take that. That would give us a, yet another area to maybe expand into within Indonesia. And let's go ahead and start sending some troops in here. So army, uh, we'll just send in a small army first. I suppose we could send the army from the Nile over there. I'm not going to activate any of the other armies yet because there's not any other fronts. I mean, we'll do a landing over there eventually. Although let's actually have a look. What sort of troops they have? Oh, they, they got pretty good troops, just not a lot of them. Of course, depends who else joins this. How much do we have uh, in for me now? We got 99.3. So we need to let that go down a bit further. Have a look at the notifications here. So we got a lot of turmoil in various places. That's to be expected. Um, inactive trade routes. Oh, Zulu might. Okay. Sure. I suppose we would only need to use that one then. Uh, low market access in Yemen, Ormia, and Darfur. Oh, right. Darfur is going to need a bit of a. Uh, Railways again, I suppose. I mean, it should be. Ooh, electric trains. Does that? Hold on, it's total 30. So it does increase infrastructure a little bit. Um, it would mean less coal, more electricity, and engines, but that might actually not be a bad idea in there. And then I believe Oromia, so that is our capital. Do we. Do we dare switching to the electric railway in here? Or electric trains? That would be a lot of infrastructure. A lot less coal needed, but a lot more electricity and engines. I think we're going to do that. So how much do we have infrastructure now in here? Oh, wow, yeah, we've got plenty of room to expand now, that's for sure. I don't know if we need that. Well, I suppose Yemen could maybe benefit from that a little bit. One, just slightly over. we only got two levels of railways in here anyway. Speaking of which, um, we could go for publicly trade over there. Right. Um, oh, Metropolitan Railway completed. That's probably the electric railways. Grand opening of the Ankoba Metropolitan Railway was uh, received with much celebration. In a speech, the Emperor congratulates the engineers who made this possible. Railway building throughput. Oh, Ormia uh, gets electrified Metropolitan Railway permanently. Railway building throughput. Uh, engineer pops in Ormia become more loyalist. Or Ormia gets... Okay, so it's uh, more prestige. I wouldn't mind getting more prestige. I mean, we're currently ranked 4 in the nation's... Uh, in here. In Austria, how much do you have uh, prestige? 2,900. We've got 2,600. Oh, we're just a little bit over uh, Great Prison. Alright. And we're pretty high in the infamy list there. For sure. We may need to start increasing our fleet, actually, now that I think of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the naval base a bit on upgrade over here. Also, now that we are not at war using our fleets, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the navy with the destroyers, as well as the sea lane strategies. That increases our fleet's uh, capabilities a little bit. Got the torpedo boats, monitors, destroyers. We don't have the submarines yet, but we're getting that soon, I guess. That's going to reduce the defense quite a bit, but offense is going to increase a lot, and convoy rating efficiencies is going to increase. The training rate is re reduced. So they haven't brought anyone else into the war yet. They're a little bit um, worried, let's just say. But, oh, no, they just had someone... Oh, Italy sides with them. Oh. Well, well, well. And now they're out of maneuver, so they can't invite anyone else. Okay, so could I take... Uh, North Borneo? No, 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 they don't have that one in the war. Now, the Italians do have the naval supremacy, admittedly, so that might be a problem. But at the same time, we've got pretty good troops, and we should still be able to move troops around without too much issues. We'll probably lose a lot of convoys, admittedly. But that'll be fine. Plus, I suppose Italians were buying a lot of things from us, so if they stop buying all of that, then that's going to hinder them. Now, admittedly, since we will have war goals that we'll be able to push at least one of them, in theory, we'll be able to... if uh, they don't get any of their war goals. Actually, what did they do to invite them? I suppose just a obligation, yeah, just an obligation. 
well, we don't have the infamy, quite frankly, to take more. Although it's already pretty late into the game, so maybe we can afford that. Although we might want to wait a little bit longer just to reduce the time that will be uh, pr social pariah. But that does mean that we probably need to start getting a bit more troops active. Just for them to be sort of ready for a fight. We've got a few garrison units into China, Indonesia, South China. So yeah, we've got a few things uh, scattered around here. Oh right, did we get the... Yeah, we got the port over here. I pretty much forgot that existed. Uh, we got some ports in there. We could maybe get some... Get another two barracks in there. Start increasing our military even further. And then... Homelands over here will probably get another ten barracks total. So there's going to be a lot of barracks building. Plus, uh, let's make sure to build another level for the munitions plant there. Because I'm sure that we're going to need that one. And then arms industries might be needed as well. Although it doesn't look like the price is too bad in there yet. So that can probably expand on its own. Uh, the rubber plantation on the other hand. Well, it's not too bad there either. But I'm going to give it another level just in case. But yeah, we're going to wait a little bit before we declare war. Or declare war goals. But if we were to take some parts of Italy. Which was kind of the ideal... Uh, from the get-go. So maybe if we go for Lazio, it's easier said than done, of course, but I think we might be able to do that. Let's just double-check the uh, Italian army a little bit here. So what do they have as their troops? They got the trench infantry, they do have the siege artillery, puzzle messengers, machine gunners, so they basically have the same ar army as we do. More or less, but they got more of them, of course, but like if we're defending them, we should be fine. Oh, they're bringing more troops here. Alright, that's gonna be a lot of them. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, if they got a land from, then I suppose that's where they're going to bring in their troops, isn't it? Well, let's go ahead and send... Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to send in these armies to defend over there. Um, two armies from Ethiopia, and then we got one army already going in there. So it's going to be three armies total. That's going to be 100 battalions. If we just defend there uh, originally, let them try to attack us. Have them take the casualties. And then what we can do is we can also do the landing in Jambi, probably. Although I'm not entirely sure about that, but we'll give it a try at least. As soon as we have the chance. We're getting a bit of uh, increased garrison over here, I suppose. Oh, an action. Our forces are dissatisfied with the inclusion of the intelligentsia in the Ethiopian government. Uh, I do not want to anger the armed forces right now. So, intelligentsia, I'm sorry. But we need to do that. Is there any laws that we could pass to improve the... Oh, right, actually, there's some institutions that we could pass. Home affairs would be okay to get more loyalists. Colonial affairs would be faster colonization. Uh, law enforcement would be less radicals. Then our living decreases. And state penalties from turmoil would be reduced. Of course, in the laws, they... No, we can't really switch that one. What do the armed forces support, then? Because they are clearly part of the... They're part of the same party and they're upset about one another, okay. So, mass contrition and professional army. And... Per capita taxation, proportional taxation, graduated taxation. Oh, so could we switch the taxation law? Uh, no, not really. Alright. Doesn't seem like there's too much uh, of stuff that we could do to make them happier. Uh, stuff that would benefit us as well at the process. So, yeah, the armed forces are going to have to be a little bit unhappy, I suppose. I got 20 battalions there, so we can actually take this one now and so I suppose we can try advancing. Oh, uh, session so movement's growing. Men. The session it is going to be. Oh, over here. All right. Well, there's a bit of turmoil in there, I suppose. Yeah. We could probably get some more production in there or something to make it sort of less. Uh, or have a bit less unrest, I suppose. I was um, thinking here. We could maybe get a logging camp there for a little bit of extra wood. That's always a useful. Among other things. Oh, and now we're getting a lot of naval bases and such. So they are bringing the troops in here. I don't know how quickly they'll arrive here. It'll probably take quite some time. We'll probably use the army from Sanje to do the landing in there. So have they added any, any war goals? They can't add any war goals. Uh, how much infamy do we now have? 98. Uh, right, so, if we add in a war goal, Congress State, uh, Lazio, uh, 35 infamy, 
I think we're gonna do that. Oh, but I don't think we're gonna do a landing in there. They got massive uh, um, fleet advantage. Although we can build up our fleet a little bit, and then we'll add in uh, war operations from Italy, and then a transfer subject Brunei. And we've got thirty-five more points. What about liberate country Morena, Morena, Sardinia, Piedmont, and Tuscany? I'm not really sure that we want any of those necessarily independent. We could take another conquer state, I suppose. For example, for Sicily. Okay, like Rome and Sicily. So that would be at least a little bit uh, weakening over there. And then we'll have a foothold in Europe. I suppose it's good. Uh, I don't know how easy this is going to be, though. This might be the last big war of this uh, series, quite frankly. Now we're losing a, some money, not too bad yet. Oh, uh, <laughs> right, a lot of nations are starting to embargo us, all right. Uh, so I'm guessing we might have some inactive trade routes here. Of course, if we cancel those, it means that we'll have a lot more bureaucracy available. Did we? We still have the 500 in here. As soon as that is done, uh, I suppose we could start... Uh, or doing the Suez Canal in here. So this is part of the... I wonder if they'll do a landing there, actually. Not that it's necessarily going to be doing all that much. We've still got 40 battalions over here in Ethiopia. Uh, we've got the 20 over here in Sanji. And uh, 20 in Arabia. But that is part of the Nile, and we don't have any more troops in the Nile. Although we are building up the... Actually, no, we're not building up the troops there, are we? No, we already built those. We could probably build another few in here, just in case. How many things do we have in the construction queue? Um, quite a bit. Including a lot of barracks. And a lot of them will be will start very shortly. On the construction of things, at least. Right, so they've got on their troops in there. We are set to defend. Or we'll move this army to defend as well. So we will at least have those and... Do we have any more embargoes on us? Uh, well, there's the trade to Italy. We should probably not sell them any artillery right now. Just saying. Now, that does increase the amount of um, radicals that we get because with that's uh, reducing a lot of the trade routes. And they are probably going to get their independence in there. Oh, well, if we lose uh, Taiwan, that's uh, unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. Right now, we are focusing on the war against Italy. Well, mostly Italy, I suppose I should say. Getting a bit of uh, reinforcements in here, rather quickly, in fact. Uh, we are the underdog in terms of numbers, but I think we can still win this. But yeah, we got the advantage in numbers over here. I don't know how much they'll be bringing troops in here, of course. Alright, the war has broken out. Oh, do we have... Oh. <laughs> we got our allies advancing. Alright. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, well, now what we can do, though, is uh, take the navy, the Sanja fleet... Do a naval invasion in Jambi. That's going to take a bit of time. And then destroy and protect her. Burhanu Chereka has made a use of destroyer ships in the ongoing conflict. The teaching asked much about how they are best utilized. Save the convoys. Minus 10% recruitment. They make up an important part of our fleets. Navy defense for five years. Actually, that's a good idea. We'll probably have some combat with the en enemies anyway. Right, so they've got pretty good stuff in here. I don't know if I'd be able to advance in there. So we might have a bit of a stalemate here for a while. And then, of course, there's uh, one of us, uh, or one of my puppets attacking there, which isn't exactly the ideal situation. We'll have the uh, landing going in there, but we are, unfortunately, once again, while, while we just start a war, we're running out of time for the episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, also got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, bye-bye.